hi guys welcome back it's been a while i haven't posted up a video here so let's get started this is a trinidad version of kachori or kachori depending on where you are you will pronounce it it's a crispy and delicious snack it's made with soaked grindal or chana or chickpea it's served with the different kinds of chutneys such as mango chutney or tamarind chutney or kuchala. There are nice round balls fried to a golden brown and a crispy consistency. This is how it's going to look inside when you cut it and that's the chutneys it will be served with. I have some boiled mango chutney or masala chutney or masala mango chutney and some blended mango raw chutney to go with that perfect kachori let's get started these are the ingredients i have here my washed and soaked dal or split pea it's soaked overnight until softened and swells you can use chana if you want to i have here some options for you baking powder is a must we have in the back there flour we have grind uh, chana powder and we have split pea powder you're going to drain or strain your dal, your soaked dal. And you're going to add two cups at a time to your food processor. You're going to throw away that water, of course. We don't need that water. Then we're going to process or grind that split pea or that dal to get a nice consistency. This is what it would look like. You're going to do all until you're done. Then we're going to season this to flavor it up. We're going to add um, lots of our green seasoning. Our green seasoning consists of bandania or shadow veni. If you don't have that, you can definitely use cilantro. It will give it a nice flavor. We have garlic and pimento pepper as well. You're going to do um, lots of green seasoning, as I said, and flavor it to your liking. It smells nice. And as you can see, it's loose with just using that grind out. So I am going to um, show you my option. I'm using that ground chana powder or chickpea powder. And I'm using two teaspoons of baking powder. I've started up with half cup of that grind chana powder. And you're going to mix this until you get a nice consistency where it can shape and form a ball. I've added another half cup of that chana powder. Now, if you don't like the chana powder, you can substitute it. That's why I'm showing you the grinder split pea powder, or you can use flour. It depends on your likeness, and you're going to mix it until it combines. Formant, I'm using a half cup here to form my doors or my round balls. If you want it bigger, you can use a one cup measurement. Don't forget to add your salt because it is going to give it that taste that you want. So continue forming them and form all of your kochori or kachori balls. And as you can see, the balls is holding up really nice. That's how you know you'll get a nice consistency with the chana powder or whatever you choose to use. Almost done forming them. And as you can see, they're full and loaded of that green seasoning. That is what is going to flavor it up and give it that nice taste. All done. Here's my oil. I've also fried some swordfish acres before. So my oil is a bit, you know, gently adding them to that hot oil. Now you can use a deeper pot so the whole balls will submerge in that oil. But I've used my pot here that I've already started using. And you're going to fry these until a nice golden brown color and it's crispy to the top and crunchy. The kitchen smells nice with all of that green seasoning. You're going to use about, here I've used about um, two pounds of dal soaked and I've gotten about five to six cups of dal. 
and it's two te two teaspoon of baking powder. The chana powder was two was one cup, I believe. You can use your discretion when you're making them. Recipes are made um using like average. Sometimes measurement, it depends on if it's baking. This reminds me of my grandpa on my dad's side and my grandma on my mother's side, my nanny. She made these and I saw how she made them many, many, many years ago. And my grandpa has a sister living in Penal and every time we go there, like sometimes on a Sunday to look for her, we tend to stop at Debe there at the hotspot to buy these or purchase these. And I've learned about it from my both side grandparents. And this is what it would look like when it's all done. Don't fry it in too high, high, high heat. Just kind of like medium to high. Not medium because it would be too low. And you're going to fry them until a nice golden brown color. And it's going to be all crispy and crunchy to the top. And you're going to take them out now. Place them on a dish or tray lined with paper towel. So it can drain. It doesn't hold too much oil anyways. It's only looking so. And that's it. All done. And this will be served with the mango chutney or the tamarind chutney that I showed you at the beginning. Or kochala or ho however you like it. Just cut them, soak them in your chutney and you're good to go. It's delicious. And thank you for watching. I appreciate it. Love you all. And I'm happy to share this recipe with you guys.